Hello, my name is Rich Ward and I'm a sales engineer for Trimble. Welcome to today's video. Today we will be showing you best practices of modeling a cast in place elliptical column with elliptical rebar ties. Leveraging Tecla Structures version 2024 Service Pack 3 in the US environment. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started. For our demonstration today, we'll be using a portion of a bridge which has the elliptical columns built into the design. And I've imported a PDF out of the structure plans which has a nice plan view along with elevation views. I have also created a final product just to show us exactly what we plan to achieve by the end of this tutorial. Right. Now that we understand where to place these concrete columns, now we need to understand how to build these concrete columns. So what I have done, I have actually imported the structure plan that contains the details, and I have scaled up that PDF accordingly as well. First thing we want to do, we want to isolate this area and zoom in to this elliptical concrete column. You can see that this is five feet long, by two feet six wide. And this is where we can really leverage the construction lines to help us model out this concrete accurately. Now we have some good construction lines in place where we can now begin modeling the concrete. Right, now that we have our construction lines in place, we have excellent snapping points as to where to snap onto when we build this column out. And in order to get this nice elliptical shape, the best tool to use is the slab, concrete slab tool. So let's just start snapping into place. Middle mouse click in that command. And looking at the properties of this node, we want to change this node to an arc point. And that will give us a perfect elliptical concrete shape. And that's exactly what we are trying to achieve. Now that we have our concrete envelope in place, let's start detailing in these elliptical rebar ties. So the critical information that we want to pay attention to before we start detailing any rebar is we're concerned about the lap length, which is two foot three inches, the clearance of the rebar, and the size of the rebar. So let's start detailing in this rebar. The Rebar ribbon at the very top here. Let's look at the properties. We have preset drop downs. This is going to be a tie. We want to make sure we have the correct grade in there along with the correct size of the rebar. And so let's detail in this rebar accordingly. We want to start this rebar in the center of the lap, right on the edge of the concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, we're going to click six times and the command, and then identify the constraints. So our rebar is in place and you can see it is a standard square tie. Now to get this nice elliptical shape, well let's go work on the bending radius. So we're going to make this an 11, number 11 radius. And you can see we're getting closer, but we're not quite there yet. Now we also know that we need a three inch clearance. So let's throw a three inch clearance in there. And we're looking pretty good, but we're not quite there yet. And there we go. We have three inch clearance on each side. 
So the shape is looking really good. Now let's work on this lap length. And lap length, you can see that the cover thickness is two inches. Well, we want this cover thickness to be one feet, 1.5 inches, which is half the length of that lap slice. Once we get that in place, now we're looking pretty good. This is exactly what we want. So the ties are complete. Make sure we save our work. Okay, now that we have the elliptical rebar ties in place, now let's work on the attributes for this concrete column. And let's just say that's going to be a 10 foot in depth column. And there we go. At this point, let's put in the vertical sticks of rebar. Best practices for this, well, we're going to leverage the rebar group and along with the rebar face. Let's get these five sticks of rebar on each face to start out with. And you can see how Tekla places them very nicely with the correct clearances in place. And let's just use one of the uh, preset dropdowns. Select the vertical rebar. Get the correct grade. Get the correct size. Modify that. Well, we're almost there. We need to get equal distribution by the amount of reinforcing bar. And there's one side. Tekla remembers those settings that we just plugged in, and now we have both sides complete. Let's now wrap this up by detailing in these last six sticks of rebar that make up the end radius of this elliptical shape. So leveraging the bar group of the ribbon toolbar, let's make this happen. Make sure the grade is correct and equal distribution of rebar. Now also you can see that the clearance is two, but we need that clearance to be zero. So it's right on and we need it to be four inches from the edge of the concrete. Now let's work on these last two. Now for these last two, let's just drop in a construction line. And let's use the rebar group again. Snap to where that construction line meets the concrete. And then we can just simply adjust the clearances. Let's do a renumber. And we know that there's 16 vertical number nines in this cast unit. So let's inquire on it. And this is our cross check for quality assurance. Well, it shows that we only have 14. So what we are missing, we're just missing these two up top here. So let's just go ahead, copy special, and mirror those on up. Run a renumber. And let's just do a quality check, inquire cast unit. And there we go. We have 16 9 foot 8 sticks of vertical rebar along with 11 elliptical ties as well. And this is our completed column.
And this concludes our tutorial on elliptical cast in place concrete and elliptical reinforcement. Thank you for watching. For further information on this topic or other topics, please visit us on our Tecla User Assistant website.